it's 2014 and it seems like it was only 2013 New Year's Day moments ago. Um, I started 2013 in a very hard place emotionally and so I took time just to focus on my burlesque and me being me as a performer. So I really worked hard creating my, I suppose, craft as they like to call it, um, and threw myself into projects. Um, I spent less time advertising where I was, which might have been a, a faux pas on my own side because as, as a performer you are a product and you need to sell it. Um, I just spent more time giving back, hopefully, to the community. I did a lot more private tuition classes, a lot more um, business of burlesque classes, um, a couple of workshops. I did a lot of free workshops, obviously, for my cancer, um, kick cancer sort of burlesque workshops, which are aimed at women who suffer from cancer or have suffered from cancer. They can come along and maybe, hopefully, pick up some more body confidence and, and just self-belief. But anyway, um, I took the time to focus on myself and work out where I wanted to go and in it, if anything I've performed more this year than I have in any other year it's just been that I've kept it more to myself and not for fear of not wanting people to there but I like the idea that people were trying to find out where I was performing and although it's advertised always on my website um she says always but um <laughs> I keep forgetting sometimes to update it. I do have an assistant now, Claire, who, who does update my stuff a little bit because I have been so busy. Um, there are times this year where I have worried that I have maybe allowed too much of my personality come through as a performer, but in fact, I think in a way that's done me more favours than it has done, it worked against me. I believe that while I am a product of performer I'm a product to sell I'm also a person and I kind of like the idea that through me being a person people have wanted to book me more than just what I do on stage um I've worked quite heavily on my photography if anyone's picked that up I I uh I've started I'm looking to open my own studio soon which is lovely <laughs> um I've won um a scholarship which is great um I've also won some sponsorship which is also great if the photography was um what else is going on? Uh, Lois, I'm shooting a film in the next couple of weeks, which is just an, uh, amazing, especially as it's a, an ongoing project with the Alan Moore and Mitch Jenkins collaboration that I'm doing. Uh, I have to say I was completely shocked that this role was created for me. I, I just kind of thought I'd do the front cover, which then led to the film, which just blew me away. I mean, this year, last 12 months, I mean, I've been in a Hertz music video. I mean, <laughs> I was sitting next to Theo Hertz. He would have a diva tease. I was just like, hi, dude, how are you? Uh, it's just me in a corset, casually standing around, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, it, it, the, it's been a very weird year. I have I have been, been flying to Ibiza to perform. I've, <laughs> I've been in Turkey. <laughs> I, it just seems like the world has just opened up. And I think that's because I've really thrown myself into what I'm doing. Um... I've tried to re interact more with people who like my work. I've been less all about me and asking more about them. I think that's helped me. But more importantly, I have rediscovered myself as a performer and what it is I offer. I'm not just a performer, which is fantastic for me, as it means I'm, I'm less focused on it. And I will tell you now, I do not spend days or hours rhinestoning constantly. I do my taxes. I learn lines, I even work the occasional job, oh my god, um, and I teach, and I do so much more, I, I am not about giving this false representation of burlesque, that it is not hard graft, that it is not hard work, and it is not sometimes soul destroying, because it is, there is that twang of pain when you, when you, the act doesn't go right, or you feel like you've screwed it up, or, you know, um, there is, I do get stage fright, I, I quite openly get, admit to getting stage fright, it's, and I believe it's because I care enough about what I'm doing on that stage, um, it is hard work, there are a lot of us out there now, and it's almost to the point of saturation, and, you have to up your game. And I'm very glad that I've been getting testimonials from all sorts of places, I've got an amazing testimonial for the Liverpool Tattoo Convention, you know, I, I have, um, you know, the testimonials I'm getting in are fantastic. And it's not just the fact I'm sticking to bed, I'm doing other stuff. I create two shows for two very, very well-known clients of mine um, who have already pre-booked me for this year. So, and I, I, I can happily say that summertime, I'm going to be in for a love, baby. <laughs> um, the world is a little bit smaller now, thanks to Burles, because, you know, I went to, I've been to Australia, 
uh, performing. I've been to Paris, you know, uh, you know, I've been all over. But now it, I I can't move around the world without having to find a balance. I don't have to go looking. It's right there. And I think that's what's made 2013 so great for me. Um, because I haven't just had to confine myself like I maybe have to have had to in previous two years um, for whatever reason <laughs> to this country. No, I haven't been naughty, just, you know, restrictions from people in your life. Um, but thankfully those people are now gone. So um, the thing about burlesque is that I have probably, I hate to say it, I've got more out of it than I've ever put in. And I know I've put in a hell of a lot. Um, I hope that 2014 will bring me more challenges, more chances to perform, but more importantly, more interactions with the community and more, I don't know, more creativity than I can imagine. I mean, my Underwater Mermaid Act is is booked for Ibiza. I mean, it's already been booked and it has been booked for quite some time. And the best thing about it is, is that I'm loving it it's hard work and it's hard graft and i am feeling it in my abs <laughs> underwater stuff <laughs> um but my photography's kicked off and i'm doing really well with that hopefully if you've noticed it um i hope that i impress you on 2014 and i've just realized this is a really waffly blog but it's a vlog and you can just put pause and fast forward and rewind and delete i guess technically shut the screen little button at the top um, if you don't want to listen but I'd like to thank you all for the support it means a lot to me and it's ongoing and I well I hope it's ongoing and I, if anything I hope that I'm doing you proud because to be honest I wouldn't have a job or a lifestyle like this if it wasn't people like yourselves who support me come to those shows ask to see me perform go on my Facebook go on my Twitter my Instagram Tumblr blah 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 and interact with me because you are the guys who make my reputation I you know without you I would be, oh look, 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 there's a moment, that would be my puppy, say hi Elvis, yep, that's my goofy puppy, say hi, um, so, it's like a little pirate, hang on, I'm not actually face yourself, so I'm going to say thanks for the support and thank you for building my life as to what it is, um, you've each had a part of it, not financially, <laughs> you can't claim from me, <laughs> Elvis agrees. Um, so I'm going to say bye, and I'll see you all probably on the stage or behind a camera or something, you know. But uh, hit me up. Thank you, and Happy New Year.